Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I have a few tips for you on identity theft today. Um, the first one has to do with the, the bench that I'm sitting on. Now let's imagine that you had a picture in hand or a video in hand at which someone else was sitting on this very bench and you were trying to figure out if it was the same person as I am. Now here's one tip. You can look at the back of the bench and you can look at the top of the head of both people and try and figure out if the top of the head is taller or the same in both pictures and that will help you to figure out maybe it's the same person or probably it's a different person. Then we have hands. Some people have very large hands with very long fingers like I do. Other people have very small hands with very small fingers and there's everything in between. So if you look at a person's hands and compare it to the hands in the other photo or video, you're likely to figure out whether it's the same person or not. Another possibility is ears. Ears are very distinctive. No two ears are on separate people are likely to be the same unless you're talking about identical twins. So if you get a chance to look at the ears on both photographs or both videos, you'll get a better idea whether you're looking at the same person or not. Now as to voice, voice on video or voice on the movies is really no indication whatsoever who is talking on the, on the video or on the movies because voices can be dubbed in or synthesized voices can be added and the original voice track can be silenced. This can even be done on home video. It's very easy to do, so voice is no indication. But mannerisms in a person that is not affecting a mannerism are an indication. You might look at the usual way that they hold their hands or the usual way that they gesture or the gait or the way that the hips move when they walk um, or the tone of voice or the pauses in the voice and see if those two match. Of course a good actor could do all that so that's not such a good indicator but for an unaffected situation it might be possible to tell. I know from reading the AARP bulletin that there's quite a problem these days with identity theft and with synthetic identity theft and with cyber crime and with hacking. Quite a problem and it may be confusing to just about everyone. So I hope these tips help you uh, to stay scam free and those hard hard-earned bucks in your pocket and not be taken in by people who sell for instance houses without the owner's permissions which can be a big problem or people who pretend to own the money in the bank that's really not their money or their bank and people who try to discredit other people maybe business rivals or in my case, in the literary world, within it, there are attempts to steal intellectual property. Terrible things go on by pretending that people who are of good repute and upstanding reputation um, are the exact opposite, you know, so it's hard to tell that. I usually find the best thing is just to go up and talk to a person or talk to them on the phone and try and figure out what's really so. Well, I hope these tips help a little. I thought they might go well together with the blog that I have on my website, Awakening with Planet Earth, https colon slash slash awakeningwithplanetearth.com. It's the blog on mugshots. That blog attempts to explain um, whether two mugshots are of the same person, even despite disguises of date of birth and so forth. Well. That's all I have for you right now. God bless you all and keep you safe and be with you through all your days. <laughs>